welcome we will start with some basic questions and then go in detail first question what are biological indicators used in pharmaceutical industry biological indicators are preparations of specific microorganisms usually spores with high resistance to particular sterilization method they are used to confirm whether a sterilization process has achieved the desired level of microbial kill very important question what are the different types of microorganisms used in biological indicators referable table for various sterilization method microorganisms commonly used as biological indicators and their characteristics commonly for steam sterilization dry heat sterilization ethylene oxide sterilization gamma radiation sterilization and hydrogen peroxide sterilization we use geobacillus and bacillus species as an biological indicator the reason behind using these species as biological indicator is their resistance toward that particular sterilization method what are the different forms of biological indicators first spore strips in this form spores inoculated onto strips of paper or other carrier second spore suspensions in this form liquid preparations contain spores third self contained indicators in this form spores embedded in a growth medium within a vial or ampoule fourth very important inoculated products in this form spores directly inoculated onto or into the product being sterilized what is the purpose of a positive control in biological indicator testing a positive control confirms that the spores in the biological indicator are viable and capable of growth under optimal conditions reference guideline usp chapter number 1035 and iso 14161 what is the typical population of spores in biological indicators the population is typically between 10 to 5 or 10 to 6 spores per indicator reference guideline usp chapter number 1035 and iso Triple one three eight dash one. What is the D value in the context of biological indicators? The D value is the time or dose required to reduce the microbial population by ninety percent. That is one log cycle under specified conditions. Reference guideline USP chapter number one zero three five and ISO triple one three eight dash one. What are the applications of biological indicators? Biological indicators are commonly used in sterilization process validation, routine monitoring, load monitoring and cycle development. What are the key parameters for biological indicators? Refer below table for key parameters and their descriptions. Key parameters for biological indicators are overall population, D value, Z value, survival time and kill time. very important question how the testing and interpretation of results done for biological indicators after exposure to the sterilization process biological indicators are incubated under optimal conditions for microbial growth a positive control that is unsterilized biological indicator and a negative control that is sterilized biological indicator are used for comparison pass criteria no growth in the test biological indicator indicates successful sterilization whereas fail criteria is growth in the test biological indicator indicates a failure in the sterilization process what are the key regulatory requirements for biological indicators biological indicators must comply with international standards and guidelines such as usp chapter number 1035 iso 11138 iso 14161 and fds 21 cfr part 211 biological indicators must be qualified and validated for their intended use very basic and common last question what is difference between chemical indicators and biological indicators you can refer below table to understand the difference between chemical indicator and biological indicator chemical indicators are providing immediate visual confirmation of exposure to sterilization conditions example temperature time or chemical agents whereas biological indicators measures the actual microbial kill confirming the effectiveness of the sterilization process what are the advantages of using biological indicators biological indicators provides a direct measure of sterilization effectiveness they mimics the worst case scenario for microbial resistance and helps to measure compliance with regulatory requirements biological indicators enhance patient safety by verifying sterility what are the challenges in using biological indicators biological indicators requires proper storage and handling to maintain spore viability 
biological indicators incubation and reading results can take time example 24 to 48 hours or longer there is risk of false positive and negatives if not used correctly biological indicators have high cost compared to chemical indicators what is the selection criteria for biological indicators below four points are considered while selecting biological indicators in pharmaceutical industry first Compatibility with the sterilization method. Second, resistance level of the spores to the specific sterilization process. Third, ease of use and interpretation of results. And fourth, compliance with regulatory standards. How storage and handling of biological indicators is done? Biological indicators are stored according to manufacturer's instructions, example, at a refrigerated or at a room temperature. Secondly, they should be protected from moisture, light and extreme temperatures. Biological indicators shall be used before the expiration date to ensure spore viability. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.